through the beginning of time all the way up until now, we see what the Lord has spoken about and what he dislikes. And throughout the Old and New Testament, he speaks very clearly, the Lord does, about the immorality and the sexual immorality of Esau seed in the nations and races, the paganism, the sorcery, and the witchcraft. Now, if we look at all of the birth pains and earthquakes and atrocities that's going around the world, every nation has a sexual immorality, gayism, witchcraft, and paganism going on in it. Yes, it happens in Africa, and there's paganism and there's witchcraft out there. But let's look at all the nations and the earthquakes around. Not one time will you see any kind of earthquake happening in Africa whatsoever. And if we go back, when Obama went to go visit, they told him, please do not come and visit if you're going to speak about gay liberalism and the gay talk and sexual immorality. You're not allowed in this country whatsoever if you're going to do that. So when he went over there, he ceased to talk about that. Now, the Lord tricked up Esau and sent the biggest deceit in the world because he knew by bringing him into the word of God, he knew that by giving him the power and the glory of the world, that what he would do, he would pollute the earth, destroy the earth, and bring about sexual immorality. We see this right now happening, that either you accept this or you don't have anything at all. We see people getting fired from jobs that preach this, that are preachers because they preach it in their sermons. We see that if people are not getting down with the immorality and everything that goes against the word of God, that they're losing their jobs, their houses, their socialism, they're being outcasts in the whole nine yards. This is the coming of the end times and this is what's supposed to happen. This is why I say stop with the bitter roots and be at peace because if you sit down and you chase an animal to go into a trap, it's gonna end up running the other way. But if you let the animal do what it wants to do, the animal will end up trapping its own self off. So let them keep having the gayism, the immorality, and the material things, because that's a trap already set by the Lord that was written a long time ago. Go look at your geological map and look at all the earthquakes happening in every nation. And not one time we'll see one in Africa because they have set rules for that country and they will not fall in the trap of all the other countries. And this is the truth. The immorality of Esau's seed has reared its head to the paganism, the witchcraft, and the sorcery. Let's look at the people who everybody thinks are the real Hebrews and, and Israelites, the Jewish people. They make all the movies on Satanism, all the movies on sexual immorality in the whole nine yards. And they claim to be holy. Let's look at the scriptures when the scripture says that in Revelations, they seen her holding a golden cup in her hand. That's the Statue of Liberty. Why? Because she has the golden flame. She is the goddess of sexual immorality which is why New York City in America pushes out more porno, porno and sexualism and stuff like that than any other country in this world. This is a trap and it's happening and it's coming into fulfillment. Do not fall in the line of these things or you will be caught in the hellfire. That's why do, Hebrew speaks of the bitter roots and not to be a bitter and be at peace with everybody. I sit back and let everybody play their own selves out because you can tell who they are by their personality and characteristics. So look at what's going on in the world and judge right now to what happened in the past. Everything was good in the time, all right, before Sodom and Gomorrah. And then they started committing all kind of gay acts in the whole nine yards and a lot of paganism and hatred and, and everything. This is going on today. And it's happening and it's being, an agenda is being pushed by those that are in power. And who is in power? It's not me and you. 
but there are a small group of people, all right, that don't believe in that, whether they be white, yellow, green, or blue. They don't have anything to do with the gayism. They just want to stick strictly to the word of God. This is why I say not everybody's going to go in hell. What God does when they do get to heaven is up to him, but he knew for a fact that they would push an agenda of equal opportunity, that you could be gay, that you could be a woman if you're a man, you could be a man if you're a woman, and you could do all of these atrocities, and it's going to be cool, it's okay. They've taken it out of the Constitution. They've let in people such as the, the, the Ashkenazi Jews that make movies. Remember, they're supposed to be holy, 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 Lord, 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 but they make movies on Satanism, paganism, sexual immorality. The statue with the golden cup in their hand is actually the golden flame, the statue of Isis of immorality, and all this other stuff. We have to look at all these atrocities that is going on in the agenda that's being pushed and the races behind it. But there's still gonna be a couple good apples, all right, from out of that whole group of bad ones. This is the time of the weaving. We see what's being pushed and we see what's going out in the world today. We see the nations and countries that are having earthquakes and, and weather problems and everything else because of the immorality that it carries within it. I've never seen an earthquake or anything like that happen in Africa that's been going on in every other country around it and in this world. Because certain things they do not allow in there. So just let it, let, let the bear and the animal fall into its own trap. If you sit down and you know that you have a crackhead, and you give them a million dollars, they're not gonna do anything righteous with that million dollars, they're gonna go buy crack until they overdose and kill themselves. You give somebody a power and a little bit of leniency, don't give them a miracle, make sure that God doesn't exist and he just closes his eyes and let it happen, he'll let their own self destroy themselves. Remember, with greed, power, and immorality, you'll destroy your own self and then he'll finish the rest off. He doesn't have to do the work if somebody else is already doing it for him through their own selves and their own actions. So look at the map someday and then look at all of the little dots of the earthquakes that's going on in every country and then you'll see Africa doesn't even have any. Am I saying Africa's a perfect country? No, it's not a perfect country, but it doesn't carry the immorality of the gayism and a lot of other stuff that all the other countries do and that are pushing this agenda and actually making it legal within their laws. So sometimes it's better off just to be at peace, to speak of peace and be of kindness and of grace because the other man has already done what their ancestors done. And it's not everybody that I speak about because there's good people out there that I speak about these good people all the time. But we see what's going on. We see who's making the movies, who's pushing the agendas, who's pushing the subliminal messages, and what is going on, who, who's committing the atrocities, who's robbing, stealing, killing, and destroying, because they went right back to the same hoplo group, to the same path, to the same immoral ways as their ancestors. Get it down?